week speaking with Leslie Chong from Imugene this morning on Just Talks. Leslie, morning. Hi, Andrew. Good to see you, Leslie. You're uh, you're in Salt Lake City, Utah, uh, this morning. This ties in with some news you had a bit earlier on in the week around uh, the expansion of the bile tract cancer study. Just tell us a bit more about absolutely. Your yeah. So our oncolytic virus in the metastatic advanced solid tumor study that we call MASS. This is the perennial CF33 oncolytic virus study. We have a cleared the cohort five dose, which is one of our highest doses. And once we cleared that, my clinical team decided perfect dose to take into a bio tract cancer. So the timing couldn't be honestly any better. We announced Monday, we had already been admitted into the Colangio Cancer Foundation, which is bio tract cancer types. And in a presentation, as well as a poster presentation, uh, Professor Human Fong is here, my team is here in Salt Lake City, Utah, kind of just talking to the patient population, the physicians. So we're getting really ramped up for our bile tract cancer expansion. And of course, you've seen some really positive interim results from the MAST study. Yes. So um, again, you know, we we have two patients and one in particular, complete response. We're just so delighted. Complete responder for a year, over a year and a half now, fell three lines of therapy prior to coming on our study. I mean, honestly, it was like the last ditch effort. And they just maintained it. Cholangio cancer or bile tract cancer doesn't happen to be one of those hot cancer type that you can treat with a checkpoint inhibitor. Um, only a small percentage works in that space. And the fact that our oncolytic virus works. And then we had on a lower dose, we also had a cholangio cancer, bile tract cancer type, and they had a stable disease. They actually took a checkpoint inhibitor and failed and to get stable disease of months was we were encouraged but the complete response really pushes us, us into this particular indication and so you've been given fast track designation for the study have you Yes, you've been paying attention. This is awesome. Yes. So we've got fast track with the FDA. If the 10 um, patients that we go into an expansion looks really positive, then we can go talk to the FDA about um, a fast uh, study into bio tract cancer in a phase two uh, setting, because there's really, there's not much out there for these unmet truly unmet knee cancer type. And just the timing couldn't be any better. So bile tract cancer happens to be the highest uh, incidence in China. And lo and behold, we got the China, <laughs> the China patent. So it's, um, it's just, a, it seems to be the right place at the right time for that indication. Now look, this news yesterday, the strategic partnership with Kinsel, uh, a significant deal. Tell us a bit more about what the benefits are to Imugene here. Right, so it's huge. Uh, so this is for our Azer cell, our allogeneic CAR T. In that, we acquired um, a number of manufacturing experts. Now, we love to think that we can do everything, but the fact is that imaging are experts in clinical drug development. We have over 150 years and just in our clinical development team alone with 13 drugs, all oncology drugs that we helped to market. So we're, I would say we are experts and we're quite experienced at this. The manufacturing, the fact that Kinsel, they are a well-established but still scrappy in cellular therapy manufacturing. Here's our manufacturing folks who can go into, right into a setting, still continue to make Azer cell and have that manufacturing growth trajectory. I think it's beautiful. And not only, not just that, that we've got upwards of 6 million coming to us in milestones, as well as a recognized savings of nearly 32, $35 million that extends our runway now to 2026. So I think it's significant we get to maintain our manufacturing still ongoing for our registrational study, which they already have. Uh, and, and we get to 
do what we do best and have the runway to do it. Well, look, it's been a busy start of the week for you, Leslie. What else uh, is coming up from Imogene? So we announced a few weeks back that we have our Oncarlytics the combination. So this is, again, this is an Oncarlytics, our CF33 that expresses CD19. And then you take a CD19 missile guided product like blenitumumab and you combine it. So you have a mark and kill approach. And so that combination is just about to start. The blenitumumab is already uh, manufactured and marketed by a company called Amgen. So we're in that combination that uh, that cohort is open. And so we anticipate that we'll get a combination patient very soon. And of course, Leslie, we need to mention at the end of uh, this month, you'll be presenting at our Just Stocks uh, investor event in Melbourne, April the 30th, Sydney, May the 1st. Uh, a good opportunity to meet shareholders and prospective investors. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to telling new prospective shareholders our wonderful story about developing oncology medicine. Great to see you, Leslie. Thanks for your time this morning. Thank you so much.